In this topic, we were going to see the correct way of writing variable names. In the previous video, I have explained to you the importance of variables in the program. And in this particular topic, let's go ahead and see how you can write. So for example, we have seen something like a variable like this where we are storing some names. Maybe uh, name is equals to my name is shake absolutely fine it is giving you the output as well but let's say we are storing five different names or creating a string with five names and saying this variable contains five different names just for the example per se and if you will see that it will give you an error so never write or the variable within the julia doesn't start with the number always make sure names five if we try, try to do that this will be perfectly fine so you can see the difference do not prefix prefix your variable names with any number another type of problems which usually come and you should try to avoid is for example let's say place you are so let's say you are at some particular place and you are storing this information as place at the rate so where you are and uh, this is Pune so if I try to enter extra token with at the rate after the end of the expression so such uh, keyword or special characters like uh, at the rate is not allowed so always be careful with this particular type of uh, variable declaration another type or another problem which may come is for example we are writing a quote so quote equals to this is a beautiful day so generally what happens since this is a proper integrated development environment you are clearly seeing that quote is having a sort of a green color and which indicates that it is a keyword so you cannot assign or you cannot rewrite the Julia keyword if I try to sorry if I try to shift enter it returns an error like unexpected equal to because it is a predefined keyword and it has some sort of operation which needs to be done by the of the Julia programming language and it is pre-assigned you cannot assign a new value or you shouldn't even try to assign a new value now because as I said uh, we are in an integrated development environment for example in this Jupyter notebook it clearly indicates with this green color and green and bold that it is a keyword but when you are if let's say you are in a Julia command prompt then you won't be able to see that and that's where it, it becomes absolutely necessary so always remember if you are in the Jupyter notebook that the keyword is indicated by the green bold color so that's pretty much about the problems you may run into uh, if you are using the wrong naming convention for variables. Uh, one of the nicest way or the standard way about how you usually write the, the uh, variable names is by like this. For example, new underscore country or new underscore sales or sales underscore 2018 underscore may so whatever may be the uh, variable name or how uh, if, if it is a long one and has multiple words in it then always use the underscore to segregate it and that way you will have a very beautiful and uh, elegantly written the key the name of the variable which will not be a confusion for you as well as any other person who is reading your code so that's about how you can how you should write the correct variable names and now i will meet you in the next topic